Beekeepers, is it necessary to requeen your colonies every year? My answer is no. Uh, you you got to be careful. There's a lot of marketing going on with the bee industry. They want you to buy their queens every year, and they want you to think that breeding your own queens is not as good as buying their queens. It's all a bunch of bullshit. Um, last time I tried buying queens, it was from Foley's Russian Bees. The queens were crap. So I went back to breeding my own. I had experience previous to buying Foley's Russian Bees queens. And I went back to breeding my own because I realized my queens have always been better than anything I've ever bought. And these colonies here, these three right here, have two-year-old queens. And I have a colony that's really aggressive. So I'm going to go to the back side here. I just, I just went through number three. Number three has always been aggressive. I don't expect my colonies on a regular basis. I, I know their personality. I have like 150 colonies. And I, and I remember when I do inspect them, I remember which ones are aggressive. And if you can't remember, take notes. Um, I have extra supers, honey supers, and I put it on my largest colonies. These colonies, I took a split off in May... And I took a split off in June. And the splits are right over here. So these aren't as large. But I'm hoping that they will be large enough to winter outside. Because I maintain a lot of Dutch white clover. And I let my, my property go to, to weeds. You may call it weeds. But there's a lot of nectar in here. And when the Dutch white clover is done and I, and I don't see enough flowers, I'll go through and I'll mow it and I'll water it again and it'll, it'll pop up again. But between my property and this hay field out here, there's got to be like five, six acres of Dutch white clover. So it keeps my bees busy. They don't have to go very far. So they put in a lot of nectar and make a lot of honey. So um, let me show you why I say you don't need to requeen every year. Okay, I've made I've made over 60 new colonies so far this year. It's uh, July 16th, I do believe. Here's my 2021 colonies. I made this list beginning of May when I was all done losing colonies. It took a long time for for spring to get here. We didn't have any flowers until until May. Okay. At the time, I had 32 old colonies. I'm down to about 22. So, I know I don't mark my queens. I keep track of when that queen was, was created, once she started laying. And I know it's possible that a colony could accept a new queen. And I, I would not know that. But what I do is... When I watch my colonies get smaller, because I may, I keep track of how big the colony is, how many bees I see going in and out. When I when I watch fewer bees than I saw the previous time, a few couple weeks ago, or however you want to do it, I will actually check. And I checked number three just a few minutes ago, and it's aggressive. I had to use smoke, and I saw eggs. So they still have a laying queen. I didn't know need to go any further to uh, check to see if the queen was there. There was no queen cells. And here is another way I keep track of my queens in my colonies. Uh, here's, here's all my colonies right here. The red represents 2020 queens. See, it's now July 2022. The green represents my new 2022 queens. And the yellow represents 2021. And the ones I've circled red are the colonies that aren't doing very well. They're not putting out a lot of bees. So what I'm going to do is at the end of summer or fall, probably before I start doing my varroa mite treatments with acidic acid vaporizing, I'm going to probably kill these queens and put in my new 2022 20, queens. But... What I try to do is I try, you know, a queen has so many eggs 
take advantage and, and use that queen for as long as you can to get all the eggs out of her. There's no point in killing a queen after she's reached one year old, you know, she's going on her second year. Uh, the bee industry, most of the packages sold in the United States, they're not going to admit this, but they're older queens. The commercial beekeepers, they requeen every year, and for them, it's a loss of money to kill that queen. I don't believe they do it. Uh, it's a secret. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Americans are liars. Our government lies. You guys, if you would look into the what our government does around the world. Basically, our government is controlled by the corporations. They go around the world and steal resources from countries. If a country doesn't cooperate, the CIA goes in there and they do a, do a coup. John Bolton just admitted that he's, he's good at doing cool to, um, coup attempts around the world and other countries. He doesn't do it in the United States. So he admitted it. That's what the CIA and our government officials are doing. They're disrupting governments around the world that don't cooperate and let the United States go in there and steal their resources or pay very little for the resources. So the bee industry is just as corrupt as our government. Your packages, majority of your packages, are they have old queens that the commercial beekeepers do not want to uh, kill. It's a waste of money for them to do that. So they'll put it in a package with some of their bees and they will sell that and they will recoup the money for the new queen they're buying and they will make a little extra money. So let me show you a, uh, I just put this, this medium on here, but let me show you this colony here. This queen is two years old. Do you really think that she needs to be killed and requeened at the beginning of summer? Maybe if this colony, this queen slows down at the end of summer, going into winter, maybe I will. But if she still has a large colony, I'll let her stay in that hive. I won't kill her. And we'll see if they, she makes it through her third winter. Um, I've never had a queen make it to three summers. They usually pit her out before June of their th third summer. And here is another... According to my papers here, here's another 2020 queen. How's this one doing? See, I don't have time to go through my colonies every two weeks to see what they're doing. Not as many bees. So I would be checking this one. This right here is due to be checked. I will check this one. So basically, you just keep track. I don't mark my queens. Just keep track of uh, when that queen started laying. And if you notice a colony that's not doing as well... Sometimes my uh, one-year-old queens will pit her out. But you just keep track of the size of the colony. Bees going in and out. And if it's not the way it was the last time you noticed, then you go through and do a hive inspection. Okay? Thank you.